big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's- Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique host. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, my dad. Walk on. Man, man, say, man. Hey, man. Hey, man, God is good, man. Very good. Hey, he didn't drop the jewel in here on us, man. You know what I'm saying, man? The guy showed us love, man. We pulled up in Atlanta. We didn't have a clue, man. Brother just showed us man love in the city, man. And it's and and and, and, and hey, man, that's uh-huh. how you know he's special, man. Check it, man. K Majors in what's the up, building, what's man. Up, what's, what's up, up man? We ain't here. Say, man, loving it's it, man. Great summer day in Atlanta. Hey, man, I'm mm-hmm. loving it down here, man. So where do a dude go, man, like me when he come to town, man? Anywhere. Anywhere. Strip club, capital <laughs> on. That's it. That's it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, hey, no, no, that's the that's the yeah, dope move. Vibe, man, yeah, y'all got them food, down here. Best food in the strip clubs. Yeah, man. So, you know so when um when I think about Atlanta, I just think about Party Central. You know what I'm talking about? It is. I'm being real. That's what when I when I used to come for my birthday, I'd be like, man, I'm going. That's where people go. Out. Yeah. yeah, they like I'm coming to Atlanta every but year. But has it always been like that, or is just? I feel like my whole life. Yeah, it's been like you've lived here all your life. Well, I'm from Cartersville, Georgia. Oh yeah, which oh, is 45 oh. minutes north. Yeah, but still, I've been yeah, here. You here, yeah. man? Yeah. So it's so, always been like this. Like that's the go-to. Yeah. yeah so Atlanta. who who is K Major, man? K Major, singer, songwriter, producer, engineer. Wow. wow. You know what I'm saying? CEO. CEO started started off how old? how old when man? I was 12 years old. Man, it's dope. Yeah, and when you when say singer, you really mean like, like singer, I sing, singer? Yeah, I sing. Yeah. I got to check because nowadays you have a lot of the younger generation say I'm a singer, but they will never sing without auto tune. Oh yeah. Well. <laughs> yeah, because that's like the end thing now. Yeah, and I, like for me personally, mm-hmm. I'm old school, so I love the R and B. Yeah, like but me, I came up like that. I came up like stage performance. But so I'm new like, school, yeah. and I'm old school. But I love you like both. I like yeah. both. See, I, yeah, I, I, nah, I'm strictly. She old really school. old school. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, she. I like to blend it. I like to blend it. But <laughs> it, it gotta is be right. Lot, it is a lot of the the new school the thing going on. Thing, yeah. Yeah. Man, this dude is dope. Man, he got. Music with August Asino. He got music with ja- uh, Jacquees. This dude, oh, yeah. this dude, dope right here. Appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been checking. How him did out. you get those hookups with them? So I've been working with Jacquees since he was like 16 years old. You know what I'm saying? We met through a mutual artist, Issa, which is his cousin. Yeah. And I, uh, did a lot of early work with Issa when I was coming into the game. Okay. He was like 16 then, and he had a record deal. I was mm-hmm. making beats with one of my mutual friends. Bumped into Jacquees, full of energy. Wow. You need to work with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah hyper, yeah, right? yeah, hyper. <laughs> But it has to be kindred spirits, though, for you to be able to work together. Because if you oh, yeah. meet somebody that their spirit is just not, even if yeah. you want to work with them, it's mm-hmm. going to be hard to, to build that chemistry and yeah. produce something good. Yeah, it, it was easier for me because I had started my record label in high school. So I was already used to like seeing star potential and potential in other artists other than myself. Where did wow. you get that from? Who taught you all of that? These are in high school. Yeah, I'm in a military family, so like cool. we traveled a lot, different cultures, different ethnicities. So it was like always a leadership role when it came to like my relationship with friends. Yeah. Anybody so, else in the music industry in your family? Uh, my dad does professional booking, so he does all my booking. Wow. And then my mom, she played piano. She did like piano lessons growing up. They didn't do anything professionally as far as artistry. But they love music. But they had a knowledge of yeah, it. They got so the they, ear that got embedded yeah. in you from an early stage, and that's yeah. good because most people who just have the talent, they come up and they just want to do the art. Exactly. But don't realize that there's so much more to being an artist so today much. compared to back then. Back then yeah. it was just I'm just an artist. Now, now yeah. you have to be an all round artist, including knowing the business as much as you might have a team mm-hmm. that you know is in control of everything. You exactly. still need to know how to do what they do. Exactly. So nobody screws you out exactly. of what you need. It's important. It's important. It's yeah. a lack of that in the game right now. So it is no, but yeah. it's to me it's gotten a lot better than what it used to be. It's a lot people, better for sure. Yeah, people are yeah. more aware. Mm-hmm. You know, internet, and then, yeah, internet, and then also these platforms. Because we 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 say this a lot, so people on these platforms are saying these things now, and people are watching it and like oh, and peeping game mm-hmm. and learning. So even because yeah. sometimes it's hard to search on Google because. You have to put the right words in to get really what you need and not, you know, yeah, not what yeah. you already know. Exactly. Exactly. Man, so are you, are, are, are you, you feel like, how, how do you like where the music at right now? Um, I love where music is at right now. Honestly, I mean, it's a lot of, it's just a lot of creativity that's being exposed. I feel like everybody does. Art is supposed to be something you do as a voice for yourself, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying, outlet. Mm-hmm. So I try not to judge people's art too much to mm-hmm. be too judgy on it. But I like the that the industry is so open. You okay. Know what I'm saying? okay. And like um 
the collaboration in genres is more than ever. So it's like a lot of it's a lot of things surfacing from the bottom to the top. Like rap music being one of the number one or the number one genre. You know what I'm saying? It's big. It's real big. Yeah. I mean, and it, and, and it actually it transcends culture. It's, exactly. It transcends uh, countries. This this is dope. Yeah, like you starting to hear it in movies. Yeah. And, to hear and, and, and you you and you riding that whole way, telling yeah. me which way to go. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> Like we is ain't it a trend to hear though? It. Is it a trend just like everything that cycles mm. around and come back? Just like yeah. in clothing, certain bell bottoms used to be in style, and all of yeah. a sudden it goes out of style and it comes right back around. Yeah, it's definitely. Is like it that. the same thing with the definitely industry? Like, like that. I told my rap friend, rap is in style now. Then R and B yeah. will come back later on. It's like that with a lot of things. I told my friend that earlier. I was like, when I first came into the game, MySpace was popular. Mm -hmm. You know, and now Instagram. And I remember like linking with my friends in the basement, like learning how to write songs and do music. We would dance, do little dance videos, the Soldier Boy era. Yeah, and yeah. Now right. you see it coming back with TikTok. It's yeah, like yeah. The same, same thing. They thing. just gave it a platform. That's right. So you can just. So it's it's crazy to see it just it's, come in a loop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like it, man. I, yeah. I really do, man. You know, so when you when you see the uh, the youngster coming up, what what do you say to him? The one that's striving to be do the things you done done because what you've yeah. done is something to be proud of. Yeah. A lot of a lot of dudes will never do what you've done. Yeah. A lot of kids. Uh, I, I'm dealing with promoters here who I'm looking at the come up and I'm like in my mind I told her yeah let her come on here. Why yeah. I say because she. She's never created a, it's been years. I went back to 2014. Where is the, where is the talent? Where is the person that, yeah. that's supposed to pop? And that's the questions I would be asking her. Cause yeah. you in Atlanta, exactly. you either horrible at this or, or, or you, you, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a digital, it's more <laughs> of a digital game You understand game what I'm now. saying? It is, like, it, like, is, it is yeah. such, but so, uh, I totally agree with what you're saying because on social media, like if somebody even applying for a job, yeah. the first thing they look is look on social media to Instagram. see what you're doing, Instagram, Facebook, yeah. whatever. So exactly. in anything you do, you need to represent your brand properly yeah. and yeah. do your research. Where's the yeah. talent at? You know what I'm saying? When yeah. I look at you, I see the work. Exactly. So I'm yeah. like, I want to talk to that guy. When, when I Please. seen her, I was like, where's the, you've been doing this for a long time. Where yeah. is that talent that came from you? Because yeah. this city was booming. 2014, yeah. I was coming down here, exactly. man. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Strokers and all that. I was uh -huh. in there, okay, baby. Okay. I come through, man. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? Goosebumps. That four y'all time. Oh, I know. I know. I know. know yeah. about me, man. Club, I'm an old I school dude, about, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I came through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was over at that thing. What's that little old, the little small one they got over there? But it's big in name. What's the name of the one? You talking Magic? No, not Magic. No. I've been there, too. But no, what's that? The other one. Blue Flame. Blue Flame. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. That thing jumping, but it ain't big. I thought nah, when man. I came, I was like, man, that thing gonna be huge. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah. Blue Flame, but then it was V Live too. I, v, -Live v Live was big. That mm -hmm. was who? King of Diamonds now. Is it? It's King of Diamonds. So man, y'all jumping off as you. Yeah, we switched the name. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the game still the same, same, same. You know what I'm saying? Same, <laughs> same game. So what? What, what do? Uh, what? So are you signed? Or are you right now independent? I'm unsigned. I'm so you're unsigned. So it's always been a misinterpretation or a misunderstanding of my career as a producer and writer. I'm signed. Okay, got it. Public situation with Warner Chapel. Got it. But as an artist, I'm independent. That's dope. So I own my own company. But then uh, when it comes to production, you know, you got it organized correctly. Yeah, I sign producers to my company. That's it. Work them through my, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. got like a system. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's dope. So, yeah. so you, hell of a writer, I heard. For sure. Yeah, so you be right. For sure. That's the one you talk you to. He know, yeah, 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 that's who she yeah, I write for. for. I love writing for other artists. It's just another, <laughs> it's another outlet. If it don't make sense for me, if I'm writing a song, like, oh, well, I can't really. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. So have you ever wrote songs like, dang, I don't know if I should get it. No, I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every session. Every session with every artist I work with, I write something or do something, and I'm like, dang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. I don't know about that. That's, that's the yeah, one right there. I should have kept that one. I should have no, no, kept that one. one. That Maybe is the one. That, one. that thing yeah. about to pop. You know? Yeah, it's crazy to see records work like that, though. Yeah. But it has to be the right voice and the right energy Everything got to be that, right. Yeah. Because even when you write a song and you say, oh, I should have kept that. The person you gave it to blew it out of the water. It's, and when you did it, it would have been, it might have been okay, exactly. but it wouldn't get that same impact. That's what happens. Typically, I do a song. I'm like, ah. Uh, so I wrote it, but it sounded like a female song. I hear a female singing. I'm yeah. Like, Jesus. So what about? I should have just featured her on there. So you produce the beats as well. Produce, so song, right. Everything. Do you produce beats to that go the same way? You like, dang, I should have kept that beat. You know, same thing, <laughs> same thing. Most of my placements in the game for other people is beats, yeah, more beats yeah, than songwriting. Yeah. I think the main artist that I've written with a lot, collaborating was Jacquees. Okay, we did a lot. Just what a lot don't of you do? It's boy walking, <laughs> boy walking, uh, walking. Yeah, I surprise myself. I'm like, yeah, thank God yeah, for it. That's talent. Is there anybody in the industry that you look up to that? 
is all rounded that you can say, mm -hmm. I, I admire that person. That's the person I want to be. Like, I want to know as much as he knows. Yeah, see, I used to be signed to The Dream, the songwriter The Dream. Oh, yeah? So I, he was like a big brother mentor, him and Tricky Stewart. And so I got to, like, see somebody who was an artist, a songwriter, producer, you know, and then Dream is into art, too. So he was going to school. I, I don't know if he's currently still in school or not, or graduated, but he was in school for art, you know what I'm saying, to learn how to make a clothing line and like draw and stuff like that. Is there so, some things that you would like to branch out? Yeah, I just seen well? him kind of take the jobs himself. Like nobody's mm -hmm. going to do it better than you going to do it. Man. Type Which mentality. Which is so true, but yeah. I've learned or I'm learning to let go and let other people handle it because you can't do everything. That I'm learning the same thing. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. When yeah. you know that if you do it, you know exactly what you want and for me, sometimes it's hard for me to explain to you what I want. Exactly. I know it. I see it. Mm -hmm. I might just get out of my way. Let me just do what I need to That's do. That's the hardest thing. I already know how much time it's going to take me to stay out of my way. That's the hardest thing. Yeah. You performed on 106 in Park? 106 in Park. Yeah, really? I did that in 2010. How was that? Yeah, I did one of the last the last performances on 106 in Park. Me and, like me and DeRoe season. had this same mm -hmm. conversation. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, because I, I never got to go. You know, it's over. But I used to watch it. I'm like, how was it? He that was like, show was prominent he, in my he career. Said, yeah. He says it, it looked... It it didn't look like I thought it was going to like he, he Oh, no, no, no. It did, yeah, no, no, no. It's <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like a, it's like a room. Yeah. And then like, yeah, it's weird. It looks it's, a lot bigger. Yeah, is it's like cameras um, rolling through wow. you and like people directing you on what to do and the crowd is kind of like, they move the crowd from this area to this area on commercial break. It's really? Like, yeah, it's like. To weird. make the place look bigger. Yeah, it looks super huge, but it's so small. It is so wow. small. Wow. And you Camera on, tricks. Wild out Wednesday? Wild out Wednesday. Wild out Wednesday yeah. Wow, how was yeah. that? It was great. I performed on there. Um, I did a contest in Memphis, Tennessee. It was wow. like an independent artist contest, okay. 250 artists. It's like a little $200 sign-up fee. We drove up, won the contest. It came like top three. And if you win that contest, you go to BET 106 in Park. They wow. choose like a certain day. So that all happened in the same room. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they have like, they used to have regions where they would do like the preliminary contest. And then the winners of those contests, they would match up with other winners from other areas on wow. a certain Wednesday. So the last one I did was with Ray Shermer. They okay. actually on there. They competed. They were going by out-of-state boys at the time. Wow, man! So I want to know why yeah. is why did 106 and Park even stop? Well, that that, don't even good. trip. Don't even trip. I'm yeah, working on something big. Yeah, it's like <laughs> never. A lot of shows okay, just kind of. Do you think that 106? I know what you what you're doing, but mm -hmm. do you think that 106 and Park that it's still well needed? Something mm -hmm. like that. I think what's happening is people don't watch TV like they used to. That's correct. Okay. So, so we do doing some phone. Everything is phone. But that platform, as in like what they did for. Yeah, if they can figure out. Well? Yeah, they should figure out how to bring it like online. No, no, like, I should figure that out. You should figure. <laughs> out yeah, how yeah, to bring yeah, it yeah. Well, bring it into sure. a place where we can have fun with it again, and people can be organically drawn to exactly. it. That's exactly. That's all we have to do. I think the closest thing we got to that right now is like the versus thing. Is the versus, on. and we're looking. We got big yeah. production coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be tapping mm -hmm. in with you now that I got all. Oh, just yeah. get it. Oh yeah, yeah I'm right working. Here. I got I got the right people on my team. Oh yeah, I can do whatever, man. Mm -hmm. When you're strong, man, I thank God for it. Mm -hmm. You can make moves other people can't because you got you know the right people back. Exactly. But it's the thing with the verses. You hear the challenge. You hear them singing against each other. You know the music. You enjoying yourself, but you really don't get to hear about them. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. So that's why what we do on our platform and our segment normally go for an hour because we always go back into yeah. back in the days. Who are you? Mm -hmm. What it's were you important. thinking? What did you go through in life to get you where you are today? Because exactly. people look at you being a celebrity and be like, oh, I want to be like him. He got everything. And it's perfect. Nothing ever happens to him. He got money. Yeah. You know that facade? Yeah. Okay, but yes, he's just a human being just like anybody else. Yeah. By you telling your story and telling the people, especially the kids or adults mm -hmm. who idolize celebrities, exactly. what I've been through. I grew up without a daddy. Mm-hmm. I had anger issues, or I went to prison because of X, Y, Z. Exactly. It can help somebody who's changed. Yeah, it changed my career. Just watching interviews and World yeah. Star and yeah. just YouTube, Breakfast Club, just anything to learn. Like, oh, okay, I'm not tripping. Yeah. Yeah. And those little confirmations and affirmations. Man, I, how, how how good does it feel to not have to portray that gangster role like everybody does? Oh, I love my. I love. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a big deal. It was confusing coming up because being from the south, the music. So you like, okay, well maybe I need to 
rap and talk about this yeah. you know what I'm saying and then you kind of start learning yourself as yeah well. I feel like as I progressed in life I was kind of like nah that ain't me feel you know, good so, don't yeah, it yeah I'm in my you own you ain't even you, exactly you and it's you dope are. like yeah. I ain't gotta do all that I, I did all it. I did a lot of that yeah. so I know how it was in, in, in my early age coming up when exactly. I was your age I had to you had to you had to have a Raiders cap or something on you had to have a yeah. you, you, you had to have a MAC-10 or the or the Uzi mm. man, deal with the Draco you know what yeah. I'm saying you had to have it and you had to yeah exactly. we hard and it's and still you, like that where I'm no, no, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's like that, yeah. but you don't got to. You ain't got to move nah, like that. Uh, and that's the that's the dope part. Exactly. But not saying you don't move to protect, protect yourself, yourself. But you, but you don't got to be there putting that facade out nah. there because that energy brings that same energy towards you. Yeah, I always right? did music as an outlet, so I never wanted to do the same things or practice what I seen around me. I was trying to get out of that, so I figured like music is that. So I don't want to get into my outlet doing the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so you uh, down here, man, and I ain't gonna lie. Uh, why are you down here? You think about it. You you guys are y'all circulating around all the mm -hmm. everybody, man. Uh, everybody that you can think of, the Zay Tobin, the Gucci, all these people down here. Yeah. You know, and 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 you fit. Yeah, yeah. some people don't yeah. fit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You yeah. done did stuff for. French Montana and Chris Brown. I've seen, yeah. you know, I'm just looking at He worked up. with a lot. He done yeah. worked. So yeah. who else would you like to work with that you have never that's worked the, with? That's a good question. Um, Because <laughs> they're all at your fingertips or maybe it could be somebody that's not even here they gonna cut in down Atlanta. Down. I just want to continue to work with dope people. I know, I like Pharrell. Sometimes I meet people I look up to or looked up to my career same, and I don't like them. I'm the same way. <laughs> me too. I'm, I'm the yeah. exact same so way. So it's hard it's sometimes. Hard I'm like, well, I don't want to meet them. I'm yeah, like, or they said them. something in an interview and I'm just like, what? <laughs> Trump. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, they you know what I'm saying? They so go it's like, I just, when it happens, I don't know. I don't have any, I just want to continue to move forward and work with dope people. Have you ever met somebody who wanted you to feature in something and you just didn't like their attitude or their personality oh yeah I walk out I'm good. yeah you that happens like, nah, yeah I get money back whatever I just, <laughs> the energy I'm so right. peaceful yeah I'm just yeah. a peaceful person if it come with confrontation or it's too much it's, it don't fit yeah if we can't talk about it and just keep moving or anything if the song is just like what's this I'm a yeah, it's hard. So, know. so the process and, and, and your guy I'm gonna get mm -hmm. him on the show at, at some point but mm -hmm. oh, yeah. the process is you come in, somebody come in, they want a beat from you. We talked to KLC mm -hmm. about this. Who else did we talk to? Sergeant J, ain't it? Mad Max. Guy? Mad yeah. Max. What's mm -hmm. the process? Of, like, how do you know this is the beat I want to show him that he might like? You never know. <laughs> you see what it's I'm saying? It's the lottery. You, yeah. you shop it like here. You or you go, might want to create a beat right then and there. Yeah, because it's like with certain artists, you hear their songs on radio, and I don't think that people think like this, but if you get in with an artist and you're used to hearing a certain sound, you think that's what they want to get. They don't want to hear it. And in their career, they might be trying to get to the next point. So yeah, sometimes you could play the next point type beat, and yeah. they be like, bro, what's this? It's too weird. I yeah, yeah, this. yeah. And sometimes you could play what you think they like, and they're like, nah, I want so something different. You fish. But do you interview yeah. them? Because a lot of them say that they usually go into the studio and like, Mm -hmm. Question them, ask them, you know, what's your vibe? This, this, yeah. this, because you have to know what their mood is, how they're feeling, what yeah. they've been through, to exactly. know how to create something to exactly. You know, if I was giving advice to somebody, I would just say pay attention. Yeah, to them more than they pay attention to themselves. That's the advantage that I think I've have had as a songwriter and producer. I pay attention to an artist, and I'm like, mm -hmm. this is what you need versus. And you do your research. Yeah. Definitely. I pay attention to the media. I pay attention to what's going on. And I try to get into the mental of that artist. Okay. So a lot of times in my sessions, it's artists like, how did you know that? Mm -hmm. You know, a lot, like 99% of the time. But that's like, good because it makes them want to always come back to you. Yeah, exactly. Because that's, not everybody can get them. Exactly. But it's yeah. definitely just psychological. It's just like, yeah. okay, I saw you on Instagram talking about a breakup. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I saw you. I saw your angle. I saw what you was reposting. I just seen what you was doing during that moment going out or you just at the house so I'm just peeping and I'm like okay if I was in that moment what kind of song would I write yeah mm -hmm. big dilemma in Dallas is is, is like um, some of the artists we, we've interviewed some of them not even from Dallas maybe Louisiana wherever it's like how do you do you how is how is the monetarily issues uh, how mm -hmm. real is what you see yeah. far as the numbers the visuals the uh -huh. the you know what i mean the youtube yeah. how real is this and you stuff? should know this because you know, you're so that's right like, with like, like, no, for how sure. real is what we see uh, and you the, see where i'm coming from with the artistry portion of it earlier in, in artist career earlier a lot is fabricated because the artist is still learning like they're doing they just got money for the first time put it like that. i got a bag now I'm gonna do what Future did. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanna look like a rapper and I wanna Cartier's and I wanna, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, always yeah. that at yeah. first and then once you kinda 
see the reality. You start to smart artist that's kid. probably lost some money before and got it back. They like, yeah. nah. You see him like Drake, maybe a T-shirt and expensive chain, but nothing too nothing too crazy. Yeah, so it's just pieces. It's like it's crazy because when you think about it, you know, you see these guys and you see the stuff that they go through. You hear mm -hmm. stories. Like I remember, I, and being in Texas, you heard, yeah. I heard Chameleon or say, you know, once you sign your deal, you know, that first portion of those deals they yeah. were signing during that time you fighting to try to figure everything out because yeah. they're stealing money from you it's a credit point. card you see what i'm saying they, a record deal is a credit card yeah yeah so they just give you a balance and then you spend it you gotta however pay you think you should spend it <laughs> yeah and sometimes if you're doing right they'll give you a little more but if not they disappear should a person sign debt? yeah should a person sign these it's days all it varies you know with me and my career i've been independent so long because i don't i've always looked at the deals and known what i was looking at yeah. yeah. Would you ever sign them? Yeah, for sure. For sure. If but the money probably, right. If, if the money right. right. But I would have to be in a place in my career where I just felt like I got like three years left. Two, what would it take left. for you to sign? That's good. Like, that's what, good. That's good. Like yeah. what what should an artist um look for to say, okay, I'm gonna sign I I know you can't really talk yeah. for any other artist but yourself, but what would yeah. you look for? Um the money. Of course, except from the money That's part. the first part because if you're smart and you look at the money, it's like, let me go ahead and get all this money and invest in other things mm -hmm. outside of music. Or it's like, you want creative control. You don't want somebody telling you when you can put your music out. Or But even with the money part, mm -hmm. is there a certain thing in contracts that people need to look for? Because you know yeah, how sometimes when they say, oh yeah, you're getting this amount of money, but and you say, oh, okay, I'm going to yeah. sign it. And when, when you say, but... This is not what I signed, yeah. but I would say it's that how they word it. That biggest problem is creative control in yeah. a contract. That's the biggest thing that people fight about because the percentages is right in your face. Yeah. So your lawyer gonna be like, this is what you're giving mm -hmm. up. And you accept those terms right off rip. But what you don't realize is in August, your fans begging you for an album that you promised them. And you can't. And the record label keep pushing it back to October and then January. And, and they're blaming you. They're not blaming the record they label. They're like, you're not ready. Me. Yeah, you're not right. doing the right things as an artist. And so you get into this fight with the record label and you go back to the contract and it's like, well, they have creative control. Wow. And then how hard is it to own your own masters? Because then even with going yeah. and signing these things, I, you can request it, but... Are these record labels or are these lab um, actually giving this out? It's like, no, I'm not going to give you that. Or are they yeah. agreeing to it? No, it's like, I gave you some money for that. I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, like I paid for it. I that. gave you $200,000 exactly. for 50% yeah. of your master's. Exactly. So you can we buy it back, this. but you didn't make the money back yet. I didn't make my 200 back. So, and plus the interest on top of that, I didn't make it back yet. Even though your album came out and you're famous, I didn't make my money back. But going so. into it. Going into you, it, just don't sign. Cause, you, Cause you're gonna give up, you know. It's like right. it's like uh, leasing a car off the lot. It's like you don't yeah. own it all. It's yours. You drive it. You pay the, the thing. But can but you say to them, "I want 100 percent of my masters when it's done"? And they can tell you no. Yeah, and they, I mean you can. Continue. Majority of them gonna say no. Yeah, the majority of them gonna say no because that's the money. You know right. what I'm saying? You want to eat off the the records for a lifetime, not just two years when you assign them and you're trying to eat off this for hit that, record mm -hmm. 60 years from now. So record labels are into that business. They're not really into the. Let me ask you this, and let's get back to the music. Yeah. Kool Aid, man. Kool Aid. Yeah, man. What? What? How did you come up with that? What was that? How did you? How did you figure this out? How did you bring Erica Banks into yeah. it? Okay. Give me the spiel. Don't hold back. So like, well, Erica been my friend for probably like three years. Okay. I've been knowing her before any of the the newer stuff going on. We had a friendship. We met through a mutual friend, Roscoe Dash. Okay. So um, I was recording music, and we relinked here in Atlanta about like November. You know okay. what I'm saying? And when she was with me, I'm just, she's like, where your music at? Like, what you doing? So I'm playing my song. She's like, yo, that's hard. Boom, boom. But I got like 30 songs at the time. Yeah. But as I'm riding with her, my other friends, every time I'm playing these 30 songs, it's like, Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid, Kool-Aid. You need to put this out. You need to put this out. So I'm just like, all right, well, whatever. Yeah. Still just kind of sleep on it. And then uh, she hit me one day like, bro, if you don't shoot this video, like ASAP, matter of fact, Come to Houston, shoot the video. Matter of fact, I'm going to direct the video. Wow. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to be That's in the dope. video. Like That's She kind of took it like that. Like you wow. need to that, that shows that move. she had so much confidence in that yeah. song. Yeah, we always had a, a, a musical friend. We met on some music, on a mm -hmm. musical thing. So I was always like, nah, I don't like that. Uh, That's hard. And she was always just, her personality is like that. Like, turn that off. That's whack. And yeah. you treasure her um, opinion? opinion. Opinion. Yeah, you don't get that opinion from people now. Mm -hmm. In the world, it's always like, "Oh, you great." That's hard. yeah. They don't tell you the truth. Yeah, so those it was are just the like, yes, man. This, this exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. That's wow. kind of the stance that we initially took, as far as that. And then, like I said, uh, thinking of Kool Aid, I was just like, "Money mix up, like 
<laughs> Kool Aid. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was kind of that thing. So you no. know, I like to put people on the spot. Oh, uh, here we go. Yeah. Can you sing for me? Right now. Right now. She hard okay, on what people, you want to hear. Anything. What you want to hear? Everybody Anything. come on our spot. She gonna make a, give her a little Especially bit. Especially if you R and B. Okay, so I gotta sing an R and B song. Mm-hmm. I'm R and B. Hold on, just give me a second. You put me on the spot. <laughs> Let me go through my repertoire. Do he need to give you a beat? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, I got you. As I, soon as you walk in the room. I said, there goes my baby. Your friends looked at me crazy, cause you got a dude. I said, fuck that attitude. But I understand we playing it cool. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah, you win. Yeah, y'all like better yeah, yeah, stop yeah. playing, man. That's K Major, y'all. Get, yeah. your, get it together, man. We in Atlanta, Rock man. I'm, I'm like approved. That. Okay. Say, man, you dope, bro. Love it, man. Now, I already yeah. know. I already know. I you ain't think I was going to do it. It no. was like. <laughs> Once I start, it's something that RB does for me because mm. anytime I hear good voice, mm. I just can't help but smiling. Sometimes. Mm. If you're really good, I'll get the goosebumps and the chills. <laughs> yeah, I didn't church you out. Yeah, no, you know, I no. didn't do that. I, was I, dope. I, I, I didn't get that part, yeah. but I, yeah. the smile got, yeah. <laughs> like I, I, I told you smile. before, that's so much needed, bro. We need that's you, right. bro. I that's already love. know that. You know what I'm saying? That's love. Like, I was up, I told you like 4.30 this morning. Mm-hmm. like, yeah, I like this guy. You know, I just love the music, man. And mm-hmm. I, I go searching, you know, and mm-hmm. I just start looking. And I'm like, man, and he's been working a long time. And, and I thank it. God, you know, that he gave you the uh, strength to keep going. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's hard. A lot of people give up turn for back sure. you know they go for so sure. far and then they just say like you know what a man it's the same for me but mm-hmm. you a gifted young man thank and you, you blessing us man and i thank god for you thank Real you talk. so thank let you. me ask you um going back in your life younger just okay. started music till now mm-hmm. what is something that you've been through that was a stumbling block in your career that mm-hmm. really you know baffled you that mm-hmm. you could tell somebody and say you know what this is how you can fix that problem or you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, I signed a record uh, management contract slash record deal when I was 15 to a management team in Atlanta. I was from Cartersville working at McDonald's. They came through the drive through. I was like, yo, who is that? Because yeah. they had a, uh, it was an artist that they had that was famous at the time. Um, and I signed to the management. I was 15. I got that energy. I want to get it going. What we doing? I recorded for maybe a year and a half, coming to sessions, drive, or figuring out how to get to Atlanta, then learning how to drive and driving to Atlanta, staying, just breaking all the rules in the household, like coming home three in the morning. And it got to a point we never did anything. Wow. So it was only two months until the deal ran out, but I had, I just had one of those awakening moments where I knew I had to do what I needed to do then like I needed to move now my parents didn't understand they like well, just wait these two three months and boom I was like nah I gotta get away from these people now when I went to the people to get out the deal they wouldn't let me out the deal and they I had to change my name wow. um I had to give up 370 songs they wow. made me type the songs out that summer they made me find all the sessions around the country that I recorded at and really like give up my whole summer and half my school year to get this stuff together just to send to them just to get out the deal and at that point my parents asked me they all it was like um why would you do that like why would you give up all your music and i remember telling them like you always can do new music mm-hmm. like as long as you yourself and at whatever point you get the strength to do it just do it then and by doing that it's kept me going my whole career because i never wow. got, really got attached to anything as far as and, and, and items that's you know. dope because it make you stronger mm-hmm. exactly that's why that i was able to be stronger. i didn't know that i was i wasn't a songwriter coming into the game i had no aspiration to that's write a lot songs of 300 something songs yeah i had one. no that was good practice yeah. <laughs> exactly so it was kind of like okay i can make money off giving away songs yeah you said it became a good thing later on in my yeah. career and became one of the biggest things and but you could have waited so if you had waited two months you wouldn't have to done had um, any of that. Well, I didn't know what that two months was going to lead to because the deal, of course, had options. So after those two months, they had the option to renew the deal or whatever. So it was just me and my lawyer team. My lawyer team, yeah, we noticed something in the contract at that time. And it was like, now. Like, wow. It's a conflict of interest. We need to go now. If we wait, then we showing that we... So at 15, it. when that opportunity came up for you to sign, and of course, you had to go back to your parents and get mm-hmm. them to approve it. Yeah. So how was they feeling with all of that? They just seen in my heart, in my eyes, that I was serious. They knew how serious I was as a kid. When I told them that I didn't care about those songs, they was like, <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you gonna go get Are you an only child? No, nah, I'm the youngest of three. So you're the baby boy. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. something. That's you yeah, the baby the boy. You're yeah. a mama's boy. Yeah, I am. 
Scientology. Yeah, yeah, I knew for it. sure. So okay. UTO is it UTO? UTO. What is that? Oh, uh oh. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh. Yeah, I did it like that because it was just easy. It's to like spell. I'm trying to figure it out. Like, is it? What is it? He sent it to me. Yeah, right? I don't know how to spell it. So when I was coming up with the title, I was like U T O. That's the title of the song. That's a dope, I love that yeah. music, man. I know it's not out yet. For so sure. that's the next project. What's going on? Tell us a little um, bit so about I'm, what's that's coming. That's my next single. That's my newest single. It's okay. called, my campaign is supposed to kick off August 2nd. Um, it's going to be the first single that I pushed at this level. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I've been putting a lot of singles out over the years and projects, mixtapes, okay. albums, but I've also been a songwriter and producer. So it would happen like I would drop a song in January and from February to August, I would be with Jacquees. Wow. So my fans that I was growing through releasing music was like, Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we'll just support him as a producer and songwriter. Yeah, yeah. 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 No consistency, you know what yeah. I'm saying, as an you artist. You have to so. be consistent. I find always but, he's, but, he's, but, but the good thing is yeah. he's in demand. I've always had my That's hands in so much like, you know that, what I'm saying? that I felt like that was my consistency. That's right. I was like, oh, I'm demand. outside. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then I was like, wait, I got to take this and, and drive. See, the production and songwriting came with the money. So it was easier to focus on that when you get a phone call, wow. 20,000 a beat or 15,000. You're like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, mm-hmm. I, get, I can record anytime. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm in a space where I'm like, it ain't about the money no more. It ain't about the accolades or none of that. I didn't did that. I'm just like me. Yeah. I'm gonna put you to the test because in my mind it's a test. Okay. Um, what is, out of all the songs that you've ever done, mm-hmm. which one would you say is your favorite? The one I just sung for you, Tell Nobody. It's called Tell Nobody. When was Nobody. that done? Um, it was in 2016 and 17. Wow. I like um, that. So the, you, you passed the test. It's the only song. <laughs> it's the only song that I haven't. I didn't write. Wow. Really? Yeah, I didn't write that song. And that's for the myself. one that you love. I love it. Wow. Who wrote it? Uh, it's a Canadian writer. I don't even know the writer. Uh, the producer name was Arthur MacArthur. He sent me the beat. It had a writer on it already. Wow. He was like, "This for you." Oh, okay. That's dope. No, the reason why I said because the test because yeah. everybody else that comes in and when we always ask what's the, the, the favorite song that you've ever done out of everything you've done it's always the newest one mm. yeah yeah because yeah. they don't ever like yeah, you know, we get because that a lot. you're always writing oh I love that oh, I yeah. love that the newest it, song it, is always the hardest one so for the main fact that you said for the main fact that you said one from 2016 you baffled me I'm like yeah. okay 2016 dope. it was so, just a well written song Top yeah. three artists of all time, man. Dead or Top alive. three. Top three artists. That's what uh, we do on here. Michael no, Jackson. Number one. He's Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Okay, number two. Uh, number two. Any genre. Any, any genre. Male, female. Yeah, for sure. Lionel Richie is oh, number Lionel two. Richie, that's my boy right there. And, uh, first Lionel Richie. Number three would probably be mm, Tina Turner. Oh. Tina I Turner. Like that's dope, I man. like Tina Turner. I, I, like, I just like the songwriting and the, the so rock. Nice three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The R&B crossover feel. I like that. That yeah. energy. And the, energy, and the performance. Yeah. When I see Beyonce, I always see Tina Turner. So it's like Tina Turner. That's dope, But man. Tina Turner, to me, had yeah. so much more energy. Exactly. You know, because she... Don't you never go there. Don't you know Beyonce? <laughs> I mean, that was just... No, Beyonce does stop a good... Playing, she, she, she stop playing, man. She's an amazing pull performer. Up. It's pull-up time. She's an amazing yeah. performer. I don't want the beehive after but me. But let me so tell you. Like, <laughs> no but let me tell you. Beehive. Tina Turner can put on a whole show without... Oh, I mean, with all that energy, without... Uh. Anybody in the background without anything, all you your eyes are just straight on her. Yeah, all man. them dance moves and yeah. she be moving fast like she's a twenty year old woman. Yeah, yeah. see, man. I never got to see Tina Turner live, so no, I didn't either. But I can tell you right I now, can't Beyonce, really see, yeah, Beyonce beautiful. live is crazy. Oh my god, yeah. it ain't nothing like her when she come out and she got that Texas jacket on. <laughs> He's so Texas. He's so wild. He is so Texas. Say, like, check it, man. I'm in ATL now, though. Uh, listen, man, do me a big favor, man. Yeah. Tell us where we can find you, man. We're uh, looking for you, man. On all social media, at K Major Music, K M A J O R Music. Man, yeah. hey, man. We love you, brother. Appreciate when we, that. When we Appreciate get you, we, it. hey, man, you Anytime. hit us up. When you're in Dallas, Anytime. say, look, man, I'm going to pull up. I'm pulling up. Yeah, and if I'm out here, because yeah. my brother's out here. Yeah, I'm going to hold okay. you to it. Hey, yeah, I don't yeah. know nobody in Dallas man, like what? that, but Eric. Man, I'm listen, Banks. you come up there and watch yeah. now what happened, man. We're going right. to get down, bro. For sure. You're going to be like, dang, man. You know, I was, man, it's dope, man. You, this is a studio. I did I go to Dallas. It. Wait, I ate at this brunch <laughs> spot downtown. What is it called? I don't know. It's like New Orleans style. Like it's you park so, on the curb, right? You park there. on the little side yeah, street, and you walk down. right in. Like, it's like... That like, like, sounds like where y'all was at, Calum, yeah. doesn't it? That's yeah. kind of all of like, downtown. Yeah. It's right there downtown. Yeah. I, be, I, be, I ain't gonna lie. I love Atlanta. I, I love Dallas. I be mm-hmm. always comparing the downtowns when I go to Chicago, wherever yeah. I'm at, New York. Yeah. 
New York got a lot. You know what I mean? Too like much it's too going much. On. Yeah, it's too much going <laughs> too much on. Too much down. Yeah, Uptown, midtown, it's too much going on, it man. Is. But is. I definitely, man, love coming and down here and seeing my people. And if you want to do a press run in Dallas, just, just let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hook you up yeah. with all the right people. Yeah, we definitely. got everybody. Definitely want to do that ASAP. Yeah. Anytime you come, you be like, I'm going to have you like, I just had shout down. PJF shout. Shout out to PJF. He always uh-huh. looked me up. He be like, man, you know, when he come, I'm trying to link you with different things, yeah, man, going on in the city so that people can know you in our area. I'll Please do, do it. Yeah, let's just move around. I got you now. You know what Show me the city. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. yeah. And, and the people that's gonna put you on different platforms exactly. to make it to where it's a press run. Exactly. That's what but we you do. know that's what hard. I look at? It's a blessing, and it's only God. Whenever you can, because we always prayed that on this platform, God would bring people who have like spirit. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, yeah, no sure. bad spirit, no ill intention, any of mm-hmm. that. Yeah. And that's all we've been getting because we've only started this Six in months. January. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And Kill we built up it. over yeah. 4,000 subscribers on YouTube. We working, yeah. man. I mean, we just get started, man. I mean, the people that's been on our show, Yeah. we have people who've been in the business for two, three, four years and said we've not been able to get those people on our yeah. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you know what I mean? Sure. So, I would always give God the glory to say that He has been blessing us in so many different God ways. God is great. He blessed sure. us with my boy K Major. I'm glad to be here. He's some of the best mics they push me. <laughs> and the headphones good. Right, and man. the cameras. Yeah. yeah. Everything, Everything is perfect. Yeah. yeah, man. Thank you for coming on the show, brother. No problem. Like I said, we love you, man. And it's been another great segment of Boss, Boss Talk 101. Boss Talk 101.